Now I want to show you how to set up the skeleton of your site. I've already made a gradient background based on the gradient background tutorial that was posted on the class blog. So you should definitely at least have that to start off with. And if you don't, make sure you go back to the gradient background tutorial. Okay, so for this tutorial, you need to find the blog post entitled HTML CSS Skeleton Code. And I give you instructions. So I say copy and paste this code into your index.html between the body tags. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to copy this code, Command C, Command Tab to switch over to Dreamweaver. And in the source code of my index.html, make sure in source code view, after the body, hit enter and paste. And save. Okay, next step, copy and paste this code into your CSS document. So I'm going to copy all this code until the next uh, set of instructions. So I'll copy this and command tab over to Dreamweaver and this time I want to be working on my style sheet. So style sheet is for formatting and I'm going to paste that after my body declaration. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm going to save that and go back over to my portfolio and refresh. And I've got a very simple design going on. But I want to include a menu bar which would link to each of my pages. So I have included that code as well. So next step, HTML code, source code for menu bar. So I want to copy this code next. Uh, command tab to Dreamweaver. Where does it go? Well, that code is HTML, so it's going to go in the source code. And as you can see here, it says end of header. So the menu bar will be part of the header. It will be the last thing before the header ends. So I can enter and go up and paste the menu bar there. Save. And I can change the stuff around later. For now, it looks fine. All right. Next step, I need the CSS code for the menu bar. Because as you can see, if I hit refresh, this is nothing but an unordered list uh, that has not been styled. So we're going to use CSS to change the unordered bulleted list into a menu bar. So I can take this next bit of code, CSS code for the menu bar. There's quite a bit of it. I copy it and I paste it into my style.css. I can paste that at the bottom right here. And just to show you something cool, and for a better organization, I'm going to actually put a title for this part of the code. So I'm going to use forward slash asterisk menu bar styles asterisk forward slash. This is referred to as a comment. And I put that in there so that I can better understand which parts of the code are controlling what. Great. So I'm going to save that and command tab back to my browser and refresh the page and as you can see I have a nice simple skeleton layout for my portfolio site. I can mess around with all this formatting later. Uh, I noticed that it's an untitled document so I want to fix that next. I can do that in Dreamweaver by command tabbing over and in the title up here actually I need to be in source code view. In the title I'm just going to say and I'm going to say ADV 100 Andrews Portfolio. Save. Command Tab, Command R to refresh. Hmm, didn't save it. Command S, Command Tab, Command R. And now I can see that it has a title. Awesome. So that's the basics for getting the skeleton of the portfolio site formatted. We can always change stuff later, but this is a good place to start. We can see that everything fluctuates with the window size. It's nice and centered on the screen. It has a nice standard width. So we are good to go.